It's a true fact that the RSS has maintained an anti-homosexuality stand. Uh, well, that's never been a secret, especially since the Supreme Court ruling that recriminalized same-sex relationships. But what is the extent of their anti-apathy to homosexuals? An article published in the RSS mouthpiece organizer gives an insight. Take a look at some excerpts. The article reads homosexuals call Article 377 as violation of their fundamental rights. Hence, the questions arise whether contacting AIDS through gay activities, engaging in prostitution, earning money through corruption or smoking and drinking are fundamental rights. The mouthpiece then goes on to define homosexuality as acquiring maximum pleasure in a sexual act and declares that there is no love and no idealism in same-sex relationships. Another excerpt reads, people like LGBTs and others who want to have that sexual enjoyment facility in India are working towards that end with the result that dirty sex like rape is playing around in the country with increasing rapidity. The majority country has rightly announced homosexuality as unnatural. Even animals do not indulge in it, it's also unmoral. The mouthpiece also argues that the Supreme Court's rejection of the center's plea against Section 377 is a milestone in preserving the values of the country. The question is, while the BJP has taken an anti-homosexual stand, does the BJP endorse this kind of language? The question is also about BJP's Prime Ministerial face Narendra Modi. How does he plan to reconcile his modern progressive image with the kind of language used by the RSS mouthpiece? And understandably, why is he still silent? All right, let's cut across at this point of time. From the Congress, uh, we have uh, Priyanka Chaturvedi on uh, live with us. Priyanka, what do you make of this language where you're subscribing to the oldest stereotypes connected to homosexuality when you're talking about AIDS, when you're talking about other diseases? Uh, what do you make of it? No, absolutely. RSS has been indulging in uh, statements like these uh, time and time again. What is scarier is that uh, the principal opposition party in the country today also happens to take its instructions from and directives from an organization like that, which is still stuck in the 18th, 19th century and does not see Section 30, 377 for what it truly stands for. It stands against the fundamental rights of certain citizens of this nation. And it is time that this address, uh, issue is addressed and addressed in the right manner. And uh, considering how RSS has been indulging, like I said, the principal opposition party, the Bharatiya Janata Party, uh, where the PM candidate continues staying silent on an important matter like this, and BJP towing the same line, shows the mindset that uh, you know they, that they follow, the mi mindset that they have, which is scarier for the nation in the upcoming elections. You would see that uh, if this is the route we want to go in into. Understandably, Priyanka, that's one of the main reasons why most of the big faces of the BJP, the likes who are the biggest proponents of fundamental rights, Arun Jaitley, Sushma Swaraj, Mr. Narendra Modi, now all suddenly silent when it comes to Article 377. I'm sorry, was it a question for me? Yes, yeah, yes, Priyanka. No, that is that is what I'm trying to make, uh, say here. That considering that uh, the centre has gone all out and supported the High Court decision, which was overruled by the Supreme Court, mm -hmm. and. Uh, it is time. It is time to address this issue. A law which was made in the 19th century continues right. to exist till now. It's and a crying shame. And a law, and a law created in the, the 19th. I'm sorry. To, yeah, a law created in the 19th century by the British, which today the British has abandoned. I'd like to bring in Lakshmi Narayan Tripathi, human rights activist. She also joins us. Lakshmi. Um, I'm sure you've read this particular article which has appeared in the mouthpiece of the RSS, the organizer. Uh, you've been working for transgender rights for pretty much all your life. The question I ask you is, how do you feel this kind of language which pretty much lays down moral reference points for people in this country, whether or not you're homosexual is secondary here? See, I totally feel, you know, whether when RSS is telling like that, they should know what religion do they belong. If they belong to Hinduism, sexuality, per se in Hinduism, we are very liberal. Right from we have Ayyappa Swami as Harihara Putra, we have Vishnu as Mohini, we have Shri Khandi, we have Bruhanala, we have Ardhanari Nateshwar. And where sexuality okay. per se was very open. Right. And